What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex. In this video, we got to talk about Killer Clowns from Outer Space, the game. We didn't get it at Gamescom, and that is super disappointing. However, we might have our reason why, and it's actually a news story that came out a few hours before Gamescom started. I wish I would have seen it, because then I wouldn't have been thinking, oh, this is a possibility for Gamescom. I wonder what this is going to do to the game, but we will talk about that as this video continues. So basically, what we have is a complete publisher swap. So now it's going to be Ilphonic publishing the game, and Ilphonic is going to also co-develop the game. So it seems to me like the scale of this game has increased, and I know there are people in past videos of mine in the comments that have talked about that, that when they talked, they said, well, maybe they got an increased budget, and things kind of sounded bigger regarding the game than what they first intended. I think they saw the response of the fans and how much you know interest there was in this game, and I imagine that's probably where Ilphonic kind of came in and said, hey, you've never done anything like it. And it's true. Publisher, never done anything like it. Developer, never really done anything like it. This could be something kind of unique. 3v7 on this cult classic movie. We have experience doing things like this. And I'm talking as if, I guess, I'm Elphonic. Let us help you. And then they worked into a negotiation, and uh, it happened. So now things are a little bit different. But that's kind of all we got. Publisher change to Elphonic, and then developer somewhat changed, co-developing it. I wonder if one is kind of taking over versus the other or are they both literally at kind of equal grounds I imagine again because of the kind of experience that Elphonic has that they would almost be the lead but they do say co so there maybe isn't an actual lead developer now a couple things to say here number one in terms of the future of the game it explains a lot it explains why they've been so silent it explains why they haven't tweeted since March well technically they retweeted a lot of the articles talking about this today so they have done stuff today but it's been obviously a very long time it explains why we haven't gotten the beta which was supposed to happen this year and it explains why we didn't get the game which is supposed to happen this year I would honestly imagine both those things are completely delayed out of 2023 and that's a negative I guess in that sense but the positive again from all the stuff that we've been hearing and kind of putting two and two together I feel like the next time we see this game as long as they kind of keep the core intent of it alive this game is probably going to be bigger and better hopefully right bigger and better than what it originally was going to be and I think that does make sense and I think that uh, hopefully will make a lot of people happy and I hope that they actually pull it off so con that it gets delayed but pro that maybe it's going to kind of come back in a better state than it would have if Ilphonic didn't jump in I do want to say something about them uh, this is not like a, a beat them up to Ilphonic they've done some pretty cool stuff and I, I've supported their games primarily Predator Hunting Grounds I was one of the only channels on YouTube that talked about that game for months and months and months until that game came out the issue is I just think they're very uneven and their games really don't last all that long the prime example would probably be Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed which uh, released this past October almost a year ago I guess at this point that game lasted I feel like what was uh, maybe a day or a week and I liked it I actually legitimately like that game game and I played it that day and that week but after that it just didn't seem like anybody cared was talking about it was playing it now I don't know the numbers and in fact you can't really find the numbers for this game but it is what it is and th I guess that's my opinion of it so they aren't I'd say the greatest developers or the greatest publishers of all time they do have a lot of experience in these kind of games but that doesn't mean they're like masters at it so it's not like a guaranteed to kind of work situation um, the biggest thing and I've said it with Texas Chainsaw. I would say with Killer Clowns, I said it with Ghostbusters and Predator. I just want these games to kind of last like an okay amount of time. You know, that, that was my big problem with Ghostbusters. These games come out, they last a few weeks. See, Predator lasted longer. Friday the 13th lasted longer. That was gone, right? Um, those games, I think, are pretty okay because when they can last two, three, four months, at least they're staying around. You get more maps. You get more things that are kind of being added to it. If the game lasts like a week or two and then all of a sudden the player base completely drops off, if there's not additional updates to it you know what's I guess almost what's the point of having the game I know that might sound harsh but when your entire game is being a multiplayer game you need to last at least a little bit of time so I wish the absolute best for both the teams that are working on it Ilphonic and the originals I wish the best for the game and I hope we see it soon hopefully this announcement is kind of the kickstarter and saying okay look we got a big thing to talk about 
different people are working on this than originally, right? So that's the number one thing we want to say, and we can lead with that, and then we can kind of talk about all of the other stuff with the game, which uh, I would say first and foremost would be let's see it. Let's see a little. We saw a little bit of gameplay, but let's really see some just kind of cuts back and forth of you can even have the team play it. I really don't care, but let's see this game. And so hopefully we start to get stuff uh, by the end of this year because, again, everything was supposed to come out this year. There's no way that's going to happen. I don't even think the beta is going to release this year, but that's being pessimistic. Maybe I should be optimistic and hope that we can get the beta this year but i'll be keeping my eye on it and i'll be making videos whenever stuff like this happens so let me know what you guys think in the comments make sure as always you're subscribed bell icon turned on if you want to check out any of my other social media my other youtube channels my twitter my discord all the links are in the description below thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all on the next one